Okay. Good morning, all. Online people, is my voice audible to you? Yes. Is it is it audible? Class has started just now, so there was some technical errors. Now it is rectified. Is it audible now? Okay, yeah. Okay, so sorry. Uh, so there was some technical errors. So that's why uh, it took time. So now we'll start this session. So uh, until now it has not started. So don't worry. So this will be the first session. Okay, right. Okay, welcome all of you to this uh, Insights IS Agriculture Optional Initiative. Right. So, as you are aware, like we had this test series programs and all. So, this time we are having this uh, full, a uh, full-fledged uh, classroom program. So, here, so these are the details which I had like given in the beginning itself. So, within a span of like 3.5 to 4 months, we are going to complete like entire syllabus plus notes will be given. So, I will be like dictating few parts and I will be giving PDF for few parts, right. So, combined together, so all the notes will be given to you, right. So, that is one. Second thing is that as you are aware, like there was this IARI classes. Right. So it was mainly for this PYQ discussion and answer writing initiative. So that is also free of cost available in this program itself. Right. So uh, I had like uh, said to all of you that before this classes is going to start. So do this, uh, do watch this, uh, you know, IRI classes. It is around like I think 22, 23 uh, classes. So if you like go through it once, so you'll have this answer writing uh, idea. Right. And also in a way you'll be covering like uh, more than 60% of the syllabus. And also I would have dictated few parts that also you, can, you could have taken it down. Right. Okay. So that is IRI initiative. So second one is YLM. <coughs> See, for example, to crack this examination with agriculture as optional, which are the major things you should be doing? First thing is conceptual clarity, correct? Second thing is content. So that in the notes we are going to get. Third thing is the writing practice, yes or no? So, see, uh, the thing is that in the market, we have to like subscribe for different, different uh, kinds of programs. Here, better, uh, like in one point source, you can like have all the three things. Answer writing practice, answer writing skills, plus content, so, right? So, that is the like uh, purpose of this, uh, you know, program. Plus, here, emphasis will be given for like conceptual understanding. For example, let's say today also like uh, we are going to discuss this, you know, uh, the ecology portion we are going to start. So, there, uh, for example, agroecology is there, agroecosystem is there. So most of the cases, if you go through the material which is online, they use these terms as interchangeable, correct? But there is differences between these things. So what are those differences? If you understand well, then you can write a specific answer rather than the GS answer, right? Especially if you take this first po first portion, that is ecology and uh, agriculture. It is like almost in line with this, you know, uh, GS3 environment portion. So usually student thinks that whatever I read for this GS3, that is good enough here. But in a way that is true, but understanding should be different here. So what is the differentiation today I am going to explain, right? So that emphasis will be provided in this program, right? Plus, uh, you know, this current affairs, like how to integrate this current affairs into this static portion, especially let's say, for example, in paper two, most of the times we think that it is too technical. There is no need for us to put like current affairs. So how can you incorporate all those things will be like uh, dealt in the classes itself, right? So at the end of this program, I can assure you that you will have this, uh, you know, conceptual clarity plus revision would have been done, plus answer rating would have been done. So in other words, by December end, your worries about this agriculture option would be done, right? So that should be the ideal preparation because by Feb, the notification is going to come, UPC notification. So by that two months, you should be keeping as buffer period so that any backlogs with respect to like optional, as any backlogs with respect to your GS preparation, that has to, uh, that has to be completed in this Jan and Feb month. So from when the notification is out, from then onwards, you, you should be shifting your focus towards prelims preparation and ensure that CSAT uh, is going to clear. See, I know like especially from agriculture background, people would have, have like done this mathematics after their uh, 10th or 12th. In 10th or 12th also it is al almost like, you know, especially for all the calculus is there, you would have skipped it. And arithmetic and algebra like basically you would have managed it and some way you, you would have scored, but essentially concepts would not be clear for you, right? So here what should, what should be your focus is that <coughs> from Feb onwards, at least daily give like three to four hours for this uh, CSAT preparation. Especially don't take chances. See, people think that I am good in comprehension, so I'll be clearing this exam. So that is not true. Any time it can backfire for you, right? Better is have conceptual clarity from both numericals and reasoning and then uh, comprehension, right? And in fact, like if you see this, uh, you know, CSAT paper, 
especially let's say 30, 50 is the format, uh, format I'm saying. So 30 is like passages and 50 is like arithmetic plus reasoning. So in this arithmetic plus reasoning, so in this 50 questions, at least there will be 15 to 20 questions, 1, 5 to 20. So for sure those are very, very easy. But problem for us is that it would have been merged with uh, difficult questions. So when you go in an order, you cannot find it easily. So what I would suggest for you is that practice to that extent, just by looking like few of the keywords, you should be able to tell that, okay, this is the pattern of this question. So if I choose this, I can complete this question easily. So if you do that by, uh, by like half an hour, you can complete this 15 to 20 questions. And if you mark that on your OMR, definitely you will be feeling confident. Are you getting? In 30 uh, minutes, if you are going to complete 20 questions, and then let's say for example, if you are going to take another half an hour or 45 minutes for your passages, and another like uh, 25 to 30 questions you are doing, so somewhere around 40 to 50 questions you are already done. Provided still there is extra half an hour for you. In that you can take other difficult questions. But the problem for us is that we don't have this sort of strategy. And even if you have this strategy, in the examination all you are going to change it. As soon 